Hey Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here inside Johnny United Stadium where this spring we'll be interviewing all of your Towson football coaches as we start from the goal line and take it all the way into the end zone as we get to know your coaches and what makes them tick as they get your Tigers ready for this upcoming season. Get ready fans, taking to the house starts now. Hey Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum back here inside Johnny United Stadium for today's edition of To The House, joined by defensive coordinator Lyndon Johnson. Coach, thanks for taking some time. Oh, glad to be here. All right, you ready to go for a little walk? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. So, last year was your first year here in Tiger Town, but it wasn't your first year with Rob Ambrose. Seven years at UConn together. What was Rob like? What, was, what are some <laughs> memories you have of a younger Rob Ambrose at UConn? Well, I don't know if I could say all of them here on screen, but uh, no, we had a good time working together. You know, we were obviously on the opposite sides of the ball, but Rob was good to work with, you know, we, we got a chance to bond off the field on several occasions, but uh, you know, not much different what he is now. Obviously, he's in the leadership role now, but same guy. And then last year, you're the running back coach, now the defensive coordinator for the first year, but it's not your first year coaching defense or defensive positions. You were a linebacker coach before. Yep. Ha having bounced around on both sides of the ball in coaching different positions, what kind of advantage does that give you? Well, I think it gives me a perspective of how the offenses are going to try to game plan us different things that they're looking at um, so that year in offense and I've done offense before when I was at Connecticut at one point I was a tight ends coach so I had a little bit of feel for it but I think it'll help me in the transition to a coordinator on defense because I understand how the offenses are looking at us. All right coach and now we are hitting the 50 yard line here inside uh, the U and we're gonna do a little speed round get to know you a little better All so right. uh, you don't have to do one word just answer <laughs> as quick as you can. Gotcha. You ready to go? Yes sir. All right first question favorite TV show or movie? TV show or movie right now I got probably two I'd say uh, The Blacklist and Empire. If you could travel anywhere where would you travel? Turks and Caicos. <laughs> uh, if you could play or coach another sport what sport would you play or coach? Uh, wrestling. Pre-game superstition or ritual? I wear the same socks for every game. <laughs> Washed, of course, right, but, course. but the same ones. Who's the funniest coach on staff? Funniest coach on staff. I would have to say two. I'd say John Schwartz. Uh, I would go with Joe Chicario also, but I've known Joe for 20 plus years, so I know a lot of side stories about him as well. All right. <laughs> and what's, you've, only been, you've been here for a little over a year now. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Towson? Well, I think the biggest thing has been the people. You know, the one thing I talk to recruits about, uh, and anyone I can, is at the Division One level, everyone's got great facilities and all those things. The, the thing that just makes every place different is the people. And the people here since I've been here have been fantastic to go out of their way to try to help me fit in any way they can. So that's the biggest thing that's impressed me here. Great. And best coaching memory? Best coaching memory. I would say I got to number one beating Notre Dame at Notre Dame when I was at Connecticut and coaching the Fiesta Bowl. It was a great experience. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? Well, I'm from Jamaica, so my favorite food is curry goat. All right. And then last question is something most people might not know about you. Something most people might not know about me. Uh, I'm an accomplished violinist. Uh, really? Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I grew up in uh, grade school I was playing the violin for about six to eight years and I was one of the top fifth graders actually in the state of Connecticut. Wow. All right. Well, let's keep rolling. All We're right. almost there. <laughs> so uh, you were an offensive lineman as a player and now coaching defenses, having to design blitzes yeah. and coverages. How does your knowledge as an offensive lineman help you out in knowing what maybe you look for as an alignment and try to disguise things. Right. Well, once again, just like my experience as coach and running back last year, um, I understand protections. Um, I understand how to set things up and what the, uh, an offensive line coach is trying to get his guys to do is from a technique standpoint as well as schematically. And last year you were also the recruiting coordinator for yeah. Towson and we pull in the biggest recruiting class in Towson history. Right. What went into pulling that off? Well, obviously it was all me. It was all of the course, recruiting course. <laughs> well, no, I mean, we got a great group of coaches here, and they all did a fantastic job. But once again, once we got kids on campus, the people here at Towson helped us sell the product. Uh, and part of the reason for a big recruiting class was losing a lot of key pieces. Yep. Uh, Jordan Minak comes to mind, Max Tejada. Yep. Uh, you have kids like Keon Pei, who played safety last year, mm -hmm. who's now converting to linebacker. Keon made a lot of big plays. What are some of his attributes that are really going to help him switching to a linebacker role? Well, the biggest thing, the linebacker role he's switching to, the Sam linebacker, is a kind of a hybrid position in, uh, in our scheme where he's a safety one play, he's a back, outside linebacker the next, inside linebacker the next. So he brings that athletic attribute that he can play in space. So I'm really excited to see what his year is going to be like. 
And if you had to describe in a nutshell your defensive philosophy, what, how would you describe it? Uh, we're going to be aggressive. Uh, we're not going to sit back and let the offense dictate the game. We're going to be aggressive and try to bring the game to them a little bit. What's your outlook? Uh, well, it's like anything else. If we can stay healthy, I think we'll, we'll be successful. The kids are having a real good spring, learning the new concepts and new terminology. And uh, I, I, they're excited about it. There's an energy. But, you know, this level, the biggest thing is health. If we keep them healthy, we'll have a chance. And, Coach, we've officially taken it to the house now. We are here <laughs> in the end zone. And what would a touchdown be without a touchdown dance? So touchdown dance. You can do whatever you want. Spike it, dance. <laughs> Tell you what, What's the coolest yours? thing I've ever seen of when I was at Fordham University, we had a receiver that led the conference in scoring, and he had the coolest thing that I saw. No matter where he was on the field, whenever he got to the end zone, he would take one step in, flip the ball, and step right back out. He never ran through the end zone. I always thought that was the coolest thing. All right, Coach, thanks for going 100 yards with us here. No problem. My pleasure. And Tiger fans, for more information on your Towson football team, head over to TowsonTigers.com. For Defensive Coordinator Lyndon Johnson, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. As always, go Tigers.